Hey everybody, welcome back. So I thought to do a bit of a video update as to where I've been for the past two weeks, what I've been doing, and why I basically haven't been uploading on YouTube. So I haven't uploaded a video on YouTube since the 31st of December, uh, 31st of January, and that's a long time for me. I usually upload two to four videos per week, and obviously that hasn't happened. So I've been getting a lot of questions as to the future of the channel, what's going on, where I've been, am I still alive, and is the channel dead? Yeah, no, the channel's not dead, and I am still alive, as you can see. But essentially what's been happening is we are in the process of moving right now. So what that means is that I've got to basically do a lot of work in this new house, which is where I am now, before we can actually move in. We are hoping to be moved in by the end of next week, but basically there's a lot of work what needs doing. There's a lot of work I've already done, but there's a lot of work that also needs doing. So when I moved in here, there was, well rather when I got the keys to this place, there was no kitchen. There was basically nothing in this living room, which I'm in now. Uh, this living room was completely blank. It was a blank canvas. There was no flooring down. There was nothing on the walls. Uh, there was holes in the walls and all sorts of stuff. It was basically a shell. And I've had to do all of that. I'm currently building a kitchen or trying to build a kitchen. Uh, it's about halfway done, not quite ready yet, but it's getting there and like I said, I'm hoping to be moved into here by the end of next week, if I can, um, if not next week, the week after. So there's a lot of things to do. It's a big transition period for me right now and for my family, but I have to prioritise my family. Essentially what happened was we got a notification from the landlord back in... Uh, late December, early January, I think it might have been just before Christmas, he basically said to us, he's selling the house, he wants us out. And obviously that puts us in a predicament where the kids would have been homeless. So what I did was I put a mention out on YouTube because I was finding it difficult to find a place. So I put a mention out on YouTube while I was on the live stream and a viewer came forward and said he had a property which wasn't quite ready but... I could basically rent this place if I wanted to. Well, it just means that I've got to do some work in here first. So what I've done is I've obviously agreed to that. We've signed all the papers and stuff like that. And I'm doing the work before we move in. There's some stuff I'm going to do after I've moved in. So as long as I've got it to a livable state, then I can hopefully try and get back to some sense of normality in terms of running my business and you know uploading YouTube videos and stuff like that. I do want to say sorry to any... Uh, any customers that I've let down over the past couple of weeks, I've let a lot of people down, but my family has to come first, and I hope people understand that. My kids are my number one priority. The only reason that I work as hard as I do is for them, and that is just the bottom line. I have to, I have to prioritise my family. There's no, there's no other way around it. So, yeah, as as a dad, it's my duty to make sure that they have a roof over their head, make sure they're warm, make sure they're clean, make sure they're fed. That's all, that's all I care about. And essentially, that's the reason that I do what I do. It's the reason that I work. It's the reason that I basically run myself into the ground day in, day out, trying to uh, keep food on the table, sort of thing. So, yeah, contrary to popular belief, I'm not, I'm not rich. <laughs> not in the slightest. I can't buy a house. I can't afford to buy a house. Uh, so we have to rent. And unfortunately, the only house that I can get on such short notice needs some work to it. So... Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm hoping to be back to some sense of normality soon, like I said. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try and get two or three videos uploaded this month um, over the next few days. It's the 19th of... I think it's the 19th of February right now. I'm going to try and get some videos uploaded over the next few days. I'm going to stay up a little bit later. I'm going to skip all live streams and just edit videos instead and hopefully get some content out there for the you know, for the for the majority of people to watch rather than just doing a live stream and, uh, you know, like five or 600 people watching the live stream because obviously that doesn't provide content for the masses. So if I can spend two hours and edit a video instead of doing a live stream, then great, I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to try and get some content out there and, um, you know, try and <laughs> try and keep the YouTube channel going. The YouTube channel took off massively last month and then all of this happened and it's dropped back down again, which is fine. I mean, you know, I don't mind slow and steady growth. 
he did a bit of a shame, but like I said, priorities. Any parent out there will understand my situation and the predicament that I'm in. I am going to take you on a little bit of a tour to show you what I've done. Um, but bear in mind, this room here right now is the living room, and this was a blank canvas. And there's still a lot of work to do. It's a work in progress. So, yeah, there's an update. So now you know what's going on. You understand. You know that I'm not dead. <laughs> you know that I am just very, very busy. Um, and the main thing is, as well, that I'm doing most of this on my own. I haven't got any, I haven't got many uh, many people giving me outside help because everyone works. And plus, I don't want to put a burden on people anyway, so I don't expect it. So, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a tour. I'll show you what I've done and the progress that the the progress that the house is actually making. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it, and hopefully this just gives you a bit of insight into what's going on. All right, so makeshift uh, camera holder there. Nice little cord drill, holding up the phone, why not? Anyway, this is the living room. Uh, this room is close to completion, it's not quite there, but it's close to completion. So this was a blank canvas, all of this. It basically had nothing on the walls, no flooring down, uh, the skirting boards were all, you know, in desperate need of replacement, all of that sort of stuff. Um, it was a horrible greeny colour uh, paint, um, didn't like it so obviously had to redecorate it. So this room is very close to completion and what I've done in here is obviously I've laid some flooring. So we've got some laminate flooring um, and to be fair I've never laid laminate flooring before. And I think I did a pretty decent job, I haven't put the thresholds in yet for the, um, for the you know, the transition strips for the carpet to laminate and things like that. Same as this side, haven't put them in um, on this side either. And in fact, one of these has chipped, which means I've got to replace that one part. But I have got some spare pieces, so that's fine. Um, I need to put the thresholds in. I just haven't had time to do it. Uh, yeah, brand new sofa, obviously. Uh, fresh paint on the walls. Those curtains were, were already here. We're going to replace those eventually. Everything else in here is brand spanking new. Apart from the TV. Well, the TV is brand spanking new, but my five-year-old autistic son... Decided, hey, look, I'm going to scratch the thing. I'm going to ruin a brand spanking new 50 inch 4K TV. Why not? Yeah, kids. Anyway, <laughs> I know there's no light up on this side. That's not live, by the way. Don't worry about that. There's no light there because I dropped it and I scratched it. And I've got OCD when it comes to aesthetics with, um, you know, if I'm going to have everything brand new, I don't want it getting ruined. So there's another one of these lights going to go over there. Basically, uh, but yeah, all of the rest of it is, bra is brand new stuff. I've still got to finish the skirting board. I've got to put one run across there, and then I've got to do one run across here. I know the skirting board there, but it's not fixed or anything like that. So yeah, I've still got to do that. Uh, got to sort this door out. That's going to be replaced. Uh, I need to put a door on this one because this is going to be my temporary workshop. Uh, yes, it's a mess. I don't care. Um, it's basically a building site right now, so to be expected. Uh, so basically, this is going to be my workshop. Uh, this is going to be temporary for about six months or so while I build a shed outside. But basically, this workbench is 18mm chipboard from B&Q. Perfect for a workbench. 600mm depth, 18mm, um, well, 600mm six, that way, uh, 18 millimeters there, 2.5 meters across. There's going to be another one across here, coming to about here, but then rounded off, sort of thing, on like a 90 degree, 90 degree angle, but rounded, if that makes sense. Uh, yes, I put it too high and I had to lower it, but there's going to be a backsplash on there anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so that's going to be that. That's going to be the workbench coming all the way across here, 2.5 meters there, and then another meter there. And that should be enough workspace for what I do. Um, other than that, the only thing really going to be in this room is boxes, lights, um, camera equipment, that sort of stuff. So not really much going on here. I'm not going to change this carpet until I move my workshop out of here. It's completely pointless. And it's just going to literally just going to be a workshop. So I may as well just keep this carpet here and re-carpet it once I've actually moved everything into the new shed when that gets done. That's going to be a 20 foot by 12 foot shed. Um, in an L shape at the back. I'll show you the back garden in a minute. But yeah, it's going to have underfloor heating. Um, it's going to have central central heating, running water, 
uh, obviously electrics, internet access, Wi-Fi wi access and stuff like that. So it's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to do a build vlog on that as well. Um, try and make some of the money back off YouTube ads. Why not? This will be the dining room eventually. Uh, yes, I know. It's a building site. I get it. It's a mess. It's fine. But anyway. Yep, yeah, so that'll be the dining room. This is, well, not complete, but um, one thing I'm not happy with in the kitchen right now is, number one, these... So these three cupboards here have been replaced. They're brand new. Apart from the doors, they need cleaning, but they're brand new cupboards uh, or brand new carcasses. This one isn't, but the problem with this one is it's not adjustable. It's not height adjustable, same as that 600mm one there. Um, that's not height adjustable either. So they need changing because I can't lower the, uh, sorry, I can't raise the worktop to the height of the cooker. This cooker actually got picked up off the scrap and it had two leaking rings. Um, so it had this, link, this ring here and the middle ring, uh, the wok ring, that was, they were leaking. My gas engineer, when we installed the gas, so we installed gas here, uh, myself and my gas engineer, installed gas there, Concrete it all in, uh, run it along to here onto a bayonet fitting for the cooker, you know, a quick release bayonet fitting uh, to comply with regs. So we installed the gas and at the same time we fixed the cooker, um, solved the leak on the cooker, took all that apart, stripped all the cooker, got it all working, beautiful, passed all the gas checks, perfect. Um, so yeah, that is absolutely fine. £3,000 cooker, by the way, paid £100 for it off the scrap off my brother in law. Fantastic price. Cannot grumble. It obviously needs a clean now, but like I said, this is a working area, so yeah. I've started doing the oh shit. Whoops. I've uh started doing the flooring and then I've knocked this one out because it's still bloody wet. Well there you go, fixed. And that one whoops. There you go. Fixed. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. But yeah, one thing I'm not happy with is the tiles. Um, I've never tiled before, okay? So, yeah, this was literally my first time. These are all going to be ripped back out. And I'm just going to put four rows of tiles, um, of blue tiles, in a staggered pattern like I've done with these. Um, and then I'm just going to, you know, skim over the walls and replaster it and then... Yeah, do all of that. Um, get that looking right. So that's going to be done. I've plumbed in the water, so the water's now running uh, both hot and cold. Uh, plumbed in the water and the waste system, so that's all good. A uh, little bit of mould here and there, which I need to deal with. Um, I'll get some uh, protective paint, sort that out. This will be the utility room when it's done. A um, lot of work to do in here, but that's not important. As long as I can get in a, uh, the uh, the plumbing for a washer and a dishwasher, uh, which I've got pipe work there for them. So as long as I can get plumbing in for that, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be ready for when we move in, right? It just needs to be livable. It needs to have a functional washer, a functional dishwasher, functional cooker, functional running water, and some fu some functional um, space, and it needs to be clean because it's a kitchen, obviously. But yeah, it's a work in progress. But as long as it's functional, I don't mind. I've ripped a load of cocker, cocker. <laughs> I've ripped a load of cocker. Oh, I've said it again. A load of copper out. Uh, this is the back garden. Uh, back garden, beautiful, huge, beautiful, nice Christmas tree there. Gorgeous. Uh, again, like a building site. A lot of stuff that's got to be dumped, uh, taken to the tip, recycled. But the garden's huge. Um, this shed's been knocked down, and this is where my new shed will go, in an L-shape. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building a L-shape shed. One side is going to be 20 foot by 12 foot, the other side is going to be a 10 foot extension onto that for the kids to have a little play area. Um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. But the garden's massive. Um, a lot of potential. We're going to have some uh, you know, vegetable patches and stuff like that. Nice play area for the kids. All good. But, uh, yeah, it's getting there. So, I'll just take you upstairs real quick. I'm going to try not to step on those tiles again. I'll take you upstairs real quick. Got the landing, obviously. One of Cody's toys. Not sure why that's here yet. 
Um, upstairs, we need to carpet upstairs. Carpets are coming in next week. Uh, this is the very small hallway. This will be Cody's bedroom. Uh, so quite a small room, but we have got, we have got some built-in storage for him, which is great. Means I can keep all of his toys and stuff nice and tidy. Uh, but it's not a, a huge room. Um, needs needs some paint and stuff like that. But that can wait. It's not important. Brand new monitor to go in the workshop. Very nice. Uh, this is a master bedroom. Obviously, still doing stuff in here. This is gonna be mine and Sarah's room. Um, we're keeping this bed. This bed was here, but we're keeping it because um, why not? So we've got an all new bedroom furniture downstairs and then boxes in the living room. And this is going to be Regan's room. Regan's 12 on the 3rd of March. So I can't actually get in here because I've got crap everywhere. Look, but uh, yeah, that'll be, I'll try and get in actually. I'll try and climb over. Why not? Yeah, this will be Regan's room. This bed's got to go, obviously. It's a medical bed. Uh, but yeah, empty room at the minute. But it does need uh, carpeting and stuff like that. Need to sort a few floorboards out. But that's, you know, it's, it's nothing. It's, it's not a major issue at all. Carpets are coming in, I think, on the 24th or 25th. And then we should be allowed, to, well, we should be able to move in from there. So, yeah, bathroom. Ignore the shower. I didn't have running water downstairs, so I'll clean out all my tools in the shower. I'll sort the drains out, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's a, that's a tour of where we've got. Uh, there was a lot of stuff left in. Um, a lot of the stuff what was left in, we actually gave... Well, we left it outside with a sign saying, free, please take me, and it all went. Um, all of the furniture that was in here. Uh, but yeah, it's getting there. This is gonna be the main attraction. Obviously, this is going to be what you guys are seeing when uh, when I actually get back to some sense of normality. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's what's going on. That's the 411, the down low, all of that sort of stuff. <sighs> I'm knackered now. I'm too old for this shit. But anyway, I hope that uh, I hope that little update helps, sort of thing. Uh, helps people to understand what's going on. I am busy. Um, I am sorry to anyone that I've let down. Like I said, genuinely, I don't want to let people down, but I have priorities. Um, my, my priority right now is my family. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for understanding. Thank you all for continuously supporting me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all again very soon on YouTube, Twitch and Discord. See you later.